Hi, this is Bridget. We've got our circuit off. We've tested it, plugged in the radio, we know nothing will make um, us get shocked. We've taken off the plate, now we've got to put something into the um, box. We're going to take out an old outlet and we're going to put something different in. Well, the question is, what are we going to put in to the box? I don't know about you, but I've gone to the hardware store and when I go there, the outlets can be anything from 68 cents to $20. Um, the range is confusing, some of them look exactly alike, and unless you know what you're doing, you don't know what the differences are between the many different outlets. So I'm going to try to describe the cheapest 68 cent to a dollar whatever um, outlet clear up to the most expensive so you know what exactly you want to put into your box. Well, we'll start with the inexpensive one. This is an inexpensive one that's probably, I don't know, a dollar, dollar and a half. It will work just fine. The thing is, on it, it's going to just have screws on the back. Um, as with all outlets, the silver screws on this side, where the, um, the neutral is, are going to be where the white wires go, and these brass ones on the other side are where the black wire goes. There's no back wire um, option. There's nothing special about this. It, everything's going to attach with a loop in your wire with a, onto the screws. It'll work just fine. It's a grounded plug, but it's a little harder to wire and your options aren't as good. The next one hits about $3. Um, it comes in a package. It'll say, this one says it's rated for 15 amps. Some of them will say they're rated for 20 amps, but they'll be a little more expensive. All right, it looks just about the same as the other one. Turn it over. We've got the brass screws on this side that go to the black wire, the silver screws on this side that go to the white wire, and the grounding screw. But in addition to that, what you don't see is that right here, if you close up a little bit, is um, a flange that goes against the wires. So you don't have to put a loop around the screw. You can stick a straight wire between those little flanges and screw it down. So it's a lot easier to wire. All right, the third um, option is one that back wires completely. This one, once again, Okay. Oh, and this one, by the way, in addition to being um, backwired, you'll you might not be able to see it on the film, but there's like a filmy, grayish stuff, plasticky covering on the inside. It's tamper-proof. That means if you have small children who have have a tendency to stick something in the outlet, this would make it pretty difficult for them to stick something into the outlet. We're gonna flip it over. It still has the brass screws on the back for the black wire the silver screws on this side for the white wire and the um, ground wire. What it has that the others didn't have is it's got holes here. And you can take the wire and actually jam it into the hole on the back and those back holes will grip the wire until you release it by putting um, like a tip or something in the other hole and releasing it back out. But it makes it a lot easier to wire. So that's your third option. Now, um, if you're into a little fancier, there's what they call a Decora. Um, it's, it takes a square out, opening outlet cover. It's a square outlet with the two of them combined together. This one has, once again, brass screws, silver screws, the um, ground screw. This one has the back wires on both sides here. So you could screw it, you could wire two of these screws in a loop, or you could shove it into the holes that are the back wire holes. It's just really, this is a lot nicer looking, and um, people who use these will do everything in their house that matches that. Last but not least, and, and there's other options, but I'm just not going into all of them. You can get an outlet, this one costs about $22. It's quite a bit more. This one's got um, a three-prong outlet on the bottom, but up at the top, it's got two USB ports. Um, 
I didn't open this, but it wires exactly the same as the other ones. It's just you're going to now have some USB ports and you won't have to have adapters on your wall. So basically it's up to you. you and more than anything else, um, this is down to what is the most convenient for you to wire. 